today is your boy TTS D Rose. You rock with Heath of Streets. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, my apologies for the last interview. Um, kind of got hacked, so we're gonna speak some real shit this go around because I felt like I could have came harder with the questions anyway. Yeah. Um, what new projects you got coming? Uh, I got a few singles coming. I got a video coming too. A couple videos for y'all. I ain't working on no mixtapes or nothing like that at the moment. But yeah, that's like what I got coming up. And what's the name of the video? It's gonna be Murder for Hire. Why that? Oh <laughs> no. I just Okay. I just came up with it. Just came okay, cause that shit sound hot. Like motherfuckers gonna be asking. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> that's what's up, murder on your mind. All right. Um, so with that being said, where, like, what genre of music do you see yourself in, like, if you had to categorize yourself? Hip-hop. Hip-hop? Okay, you think you could be versatile and do, like, a rock or an R&B song with an R&B artist? Oh, yeah, I can do that for sure. Okay. I know I can. Okay. I tried it. So what's your limit in writing? Like, can you write like that? Or is it going to take time for you to finish a song? Nah, I'll, I'll write like that. Okay. Okay, so you're going to be feeling the beat. You a beat yeah, killer? Yeah, okay. as soon as I hit a beat, let's go. So does that go hand in hand with your artistry? Like, do you kind of put the pen down and wait until you get inspired? Or you just keep writing? Um, I put the pen down a lot. Okay. So I got, you got to. You don't but you're gonna be talking about it. okay okay so you go off of life experiences and stuff so do you feel like with rap today people are rapping about the people around them and their surroundings do you believe in certain things that people are rapping about um yeah i feel like some a lot of them really but you, you never know we it. just on the outside looking in right My, this person might be really like that. So for an artist, they say fake it till you make it. Can you stand on that? No. No? no. Why not? Why well, fake it? You okay. Know what I'm I mean, as far as the glitz and glamour, like you gotta look like a celebrity. You gotta, you know, wear name brand shit. Woo woo. So you rather go broke mm. for that, or would you rather go broke for the studio time? Nah, I rather go broke for the studio. Okay. Okay. Um, what's the longest? hours you put in for a studio in one day? I think it was 10 hours. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it was 10 hours. Was it high quality? Yeah, it was good. Like, okay. It was good. Okay. Um, what type of female artists are you willing to work with that you've seen? Um, I've seen the one light, light bars. She hard, light bars. Okay. I don't want to do something with her. Is she local? Yeah, she ain't. Oh, I don't know. Heard of her. Okay. Um, do you hear any, like, men artists that sing that you want to work with? Or not really? Not really? No. Okay. Um, competition, do you see any? <laughs> At all. Okay, okay. So who are you repping for? Like, are you repping for NC? Or are you repping and bringing the rain back home? Nah. I'm putting on, I'm putting on for both. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Um, my next question that we also discussed the last interview se um, session. I stated, between young boy and little baby, who is more inspirational for this generation? Young boy. Young boy. Okay. And it's like he he inspiring these these kids. You know what I'm saying? People that listen to baby. Mm -hmm. You know, baby. Baby just baby, you know what I'm saying? But okay. young boy. He more relatable a little <laughs> bit, like for the kids. Yeah, yeah, okay. like for the kids though. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. it be stuff kids don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and say it. And be like, dang, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. that's what um, they say. How long you think Young Boy gonna be around? Like now that he locked up and we'll go. Can you honestly say 
the albums that he put out is going to carry him until he get out of jail, or do you feel like he's going to be watered down by the time he get out? Um, I don't even know, man. Okay. I feel like that man got a lot of music. He got a lot. Of, yeah, that's what I was telling somebody, too. Like, he got a lot of music that's really going to be lingering around, for real. Yeah. Um, and it's such a shame that he wasn't on, like, BET, or he didn't do a, a war show, and you know, just for his image, but do you feel like Little Nas should have never been granted that? Like, he's kind of, you know, on that spectrum that everybody ain't trying to see. Yeah, he... Nah, I don't think he... I mean, I ain't gonna say I don't... I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So, going back to the baby situation, everybody is, like, dropping him left to right. I want to say at least about maybe five big even overseas or in United States, like, is dropping him. And, you know, tours is really how artists make their money. Do you feel like they're going too hard on him? Or do you feel like, uh, he kind of deserved that, like... Oh, for that, like, the stuff they said are rolling loud, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're they going too much. They're going overboard. Okay. They're going overboard with that. Now, as an artist rapping about it, is it hard to not try to talk about the truth? Of what a real everyday straight man feel like this ain't cool, you know. Woo, woo, woo. Like, is it hard for you to not do that, or would you fall in line with the media and make sure you don't even touch on that? Like, how you stay true to that? Nah, I got a lot of songs. I just ain't never put them like you know what I'm saying. I ain't never display them, but I got a lot of songs about everyday stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can't fall into it because. People want to know the real, you feel what I'm saying? You got to keep it real with them. You got to really show them, them, show them you and your fit and all that. You got to do all that. Man. Okay. Um, another thing that we touched up on was the Tory Lanez and Megan the Stallion situation now. And her defense going back to the baby, oh, we was cool. You know, why did you work with him? How would you handle that situation? Like, would you put your friendship and your three songs you did with somebody over your money? At the end of the day, I'll put it like this. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Okay. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. So. Okay. Now, what is your image consist of? Like, if you could say three things about your image, like, what is, what would be the words of your characteristics? Shit. Three things about myself. I'm genuine, smart, funny. Can I say four? Yeah. I'm real. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can't leave that real out. Mm. Okay, so motivation. Like, what's your motivation in doing music? Um, what motivates me the most is my family, though. Because I've been through it all with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen and been through it. I have to write a book, but yeah, they motivate me the most. Is your mom and dad still together? No. Nah, nah, okay. Nah. But they still, they still, they both still around. They still tight, and you get to have both sides of the fence. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. That's that's a different outlook. Um, now, as far as your biggest supporter, who is your biggest supporter? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, no, okay, so why you think like why why did you say your brother like what's the clear indicator? Is it him making you get up out your bed? Like yo, you need to go to the studio. Is he like seeing your vision the same way you see it? Like what? Yeah, we like we like so much the same people, but he really give me a push though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He and he gonna keep it real. Like he don't care about feelings or nothing. He gonna keep okay. it real. Like, yeah, I already could see the bluntness. So <laughs> he you gotta say that. Yeah. Um now how many years do you think an artist should put into their music? Shit. I say I don't even know. Just keep going. Just keep going. Okay. Just keep going, because you don't know. 
Now, what would be a breakthrough for you? Like, would it be a feature on Kenny Gates' track, or would it be you coming out on the stage, or 50 Cent mentoring you? Like, what would be your biggest break? Um, I think. Mentor, really. Yeah, mentor. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. Okay, so that's for free, though. So what? What? What are you willing to soak up in from the game if you get a mentor? What are you? What you expecting out of that? Um, I ain't really. I can't say I'm expecting nothing. Okay, but that's. Okay. I. What I soak up is. I don't want to hear none of the bullshit. I want to hear what. I need to hear so I won't ever fail again. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, do you feel like it's favoritism as far as the spotlight? Do you feel like you got to, like, go out here, kick the door in, steal somebody's spotlight just so your voice could be heard? Or do you feel like your authentic artistry will get you to the places that you're going to go? For a fact, you ain't got to steal nobody's shine. Okay. If you like that, you like that. Okay. Can you freestyle? No. No. <laughs> Have you been trying? Yeah, I've been trying. You've been trying? Okay. So if you had like a cipher, do you recall any of your songs like that? Like to where you could spit in a cipher? Like Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, I need for you to repeat after me. Fuck these niggas talking about. Fuck these niggas talking about. Turn it up. It's stitchy. Every nigga in this bitch gon' let it rock out if they get the trippin' Mama always told me you a soldier, baby, handle business Keep driving that pressure, don't you let up, they ain't fuckin' with you Put a glizzy in his gut in case he try to tussle with you Who want to smoke now? This butt to go down Let the yabba hit from across the street and blow your dough down I told YT don't bust him far, nigga, get up close now My rookie up the bench, he up the glide, he tryna score now Swingin' my little head out the window with a four pound He pressure with that pistol, he gon' hit you with them four rounds Soon as them niggas send the smoke up, we go and blow down You kill a nigga, hit the bitch too, that's how it go now by that time I teach a lesson, they been dissing through them texts. We ain't sweating, you know how we play it. Catch a bitch stretch. Bust a nigga shit, get at the with that Smith and Wesson. On the net, the only time a pussy nigga send a message. I got niggas in that jam fighting charges and shit. So don't you come around me faking all that flaws and shit. We hit hunters, start the beef and watch how raw this shit get. Them Hellcats, the only chance you gotta dodge me, bitch. I tell a fuck nigga just play it cool. I'm missing hella screws. Zip him up, he try to rush on me, you niggas know the rules. Never lack and keep the blick on me, I'm down to make the news. I bought a Glock, I need to switch on it for when I'm swinging through. The only Time we rockin' rip bottoms, them here to step on you They started high and they might pile on them shot us follow through Be the bitch, I throw the dick going in, then I cut it loose Ain't doing shit for free, I need a bag cause I'm the fucking truth Greasy in the streets, I get the low, you know I'm coming through I'm riding for my niggas, no problem, just tell me where and who I spot him off the rip, I'ma drop him, thought I was chasing who 23's a rip through his body, no he ain't making through You know what I'm saying? It's that TTS shit, man Big TTS shit Y'all niggas know what the fuck it is, all the real niggas Free breeze, free all that dissing on the internet ain't gonna get you nowhere but in a six feet. So, as far as that, um, I did ask you what is one thing that your mother told you that always stuck with you? Don't listen to what nobody tell you. You know what I'm saying? Watch people. Your mother told me a lot, honestly. Okay. So I'm gonna get the sideline. I'm gonna get your big bro. What's one thing that your mother taught you to make sure that you always teach your brother? Like you said, there's so much shit. Like I couldn't even like I'll be wrong to single out one thing. Okay. Like, we 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 got the same flesh. So like, mm -hmm. shit. It's so much shit. Like. <laughs> It's like, so your mother the old it's, really like, it's, it's like it's all the shit she told me or the morals and principles is in my veins for real. So like, mm -hmm. I can't pinpoint it because I've been the same person like the whole way. Like you mm -hmm. feel me? So I don't know. I can't. I can't say about one thing. I really can't though. 
Okay. That would be the case of one thing. Now, are you that overprotective brother to where it's like, look, you might need to watch this cat right here. I don't well, fuck yeah, with I'm him. Always, I'm always tell you what it he, is. He always... I'm okay. always okay. If, I, if I peep some shit, I'm a dumb head. I'm a over. I'm a, I ain't gonna, like, get into it too much, but I'm gonna bring it. If I feel this type of way, I'm gonna say something. And 10 out of 10 times, he be right, don't he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That be that. That's okay. why I listen to him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, was it ever a point where you was like, look, and you was like, I got hair on my nuts now. I'm good. Like, you ever had to jack him up? Like, nigga, I'm your older brother. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, we don't need fight for real. We don't really fight no more. Like, we used to, like, fight and shit. Mm-hmm. We don't need fight no more for real. Okay. This might be hurt. Okay. Yeah. One of the other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who, so we don't yeah, yeah, so y'all don't even go so that way. We, no, we ain't fighting. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, we okay. passed that part. I think that's a mature part. Like when y'all ain't fighting no more and shit. Yeah. I think it's more of a southern thing. I be seeing like they be fighting the sister brother or yeah, sister yeah. and well, sister. Like, public? yeah, like you well, know, no, you ever. Or even down here in the South, like, a side of the family will be beefing with a whole other side of the family. And it's big. They have a big family. And I'm looking like, the fuck? Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I just feel like that's some more down South yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. for real. But, um, you got small families. Yeah, see, I got a small family, too. So, I envy that. Like, damn, y'all got all this. And y'all go to school with 10 cousins. And, yeah, yeah, we, yeah we ain't have all that. See, okay. So, all right. I thought I was the only one. Um, next, when it comes down to you and you know your music, are you protective over it to the point where like some might be like, "Hey, yo, like rap this that I heard," you be like, "No, no, no," like wait until it's done. Nah, you um, not, um, you I need open. to be though. Okay, I need to be because I be letting too many people hear stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, another thing. Um, do you see any collaborations in the near future as far as like mainstream like artists that's kind of getting a little cloud that you want to shout out or you just want to keep the knit tucked to yourself and just... Yeah, I'm going to keep the knit tucked because I ain't know what's going to happen. Okay. Um, school. School about to be around the corner. So what... You you in school or no. you're not in school? No. Okay. Um, do you feel like school is for everybody? No, not at all. Okay. Um, if somebody was like maybe 11 years old trying to, you know, drop out, do you feel like that's acceptable as long as he know what path he got going on? Or do you feel like it's a certain age? I mean, I don't feel like... I really feel like nobody should drop out, really, but a lot of people, like I said earlier, it ain't for everybody. Some people can't take sitting there for an hour and some change mm -hmm. and then go on and do the same thing in the next class on a whole different subject. Mm -hmm. It's too overwhelming. Okay. And okay. What age were you when you said, I need to get me some money? Shit, I think I was. Fourteen. Fourteen? You, what was your first job? I ain't had one. You ain't have one? My what? first job. Yeah. I got my first job at like, I think I was like, what, 16? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you like it or was it like, yeah, I want to be my own boss? Yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't like it. Okay. I ain't like it. Okay. I'd rather be my own boss. So, in the next, like, I said five years, like, long term, what's your short term goals? What's something you got cooked up, like, for August? Hmm. For August, I need to, I'm trying to perform more, like, get my face out there. Really, and drop a few more. I need to drop other more videos, though. You need more videos? Yeah, I need more videos. Okay, so do you feel like your visuals is kind of not matching up with how many songs you drop in, or does that not matter? I'm not. It don't, it, that don't matter. Okay. Man, because I don't, I don't drop like that. 
I drop, but when I drop, I drop when I want to drop, you know what I'm saying? But I'd rather drop when I got a video to to the song. Okay. Because a lot of people, if I put out a tape, say if I put out a tape, everybody ain't going to go listen to that tape. They're going to be posted, but they ain't going to go listen to the tape. But everybody going to go watch the video, though, because they ain't doing nothing else. Right. You know what I'm so is it one of those things with an artist where you got to, like, force yourself to be more private and keep your head down, pencil up, and just stack on top of your songs and then come after it with the videos? Like, that's almost like a year when you add that up. Like, that's when you should be dropping consistently. Yeah, yeah. So you, you willing to do that? Or do you feel like you got to always be on the scene like on Instagram and post every day just to keep your followers and oh no, no. okay I rather yeah I'm willing to do that just okay. keep dropping you know what I'm saying I better be on Instagram I be on there but I don't be on there okay and another question I had from the last interview was Young Blue felt like men should post what they need to post and hop off of Instagram because Instagram influencing men to cheat due to women being less clothes and stuff. Do you agree or do you feel like every man can control themselves? Yeah, for a fact, every man can control themselves. Do you agree with that? Oh, yeah, they can control themselves. Niggas yeah, know what they do. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? What's up, y'all? My name is Brown Bone, and if you're watching now, I got you locked into the greatest show ever on YouTube, only on Keep the Streets.